correlation tab in explode correlation is a measure of the degree of relationship between two variables it is usually a number between minus 1 and plus 1 so here you have three options one is ordered which is order the variable according to the strength of the correlation and second one is explore missing so if you want to explore even the missing values and how the correlation it will be you can just go ahead with explore missing the third one is hierarchical method, hierarchical where it will plot a graph how a correlation will be and these are the methods of correlation i have three methods of correlation one is pearson second one is scandal and third one is spearman so let's execute this and see what is the output so this is basically a patient correlation where you can see what is the output or how a two variables are correlated so pressure 9 am and pressure 9 am how it is correlated the second one is pressure 9 am with pressure 3 pm how it is correlated so these are the correlation value where you can see it is between minus 1 to plus 1 if you want to change the method of correlation you can change it and execute it where you can see the Kendall variance as well so these are the various options here and if you just click explore missing it will also show you the missing value with the missing values okay and you can see the percent missing value how much how many persons percent the missing value you have in your data and if you click hierarchical method you have to execute it and once executed you can see the message like hierarchical cluster of correlation is plotted and if you see here you can see that the plot has been generated so now I'm going to try with the Pearson correlation execute you can see that the correlation is plotted and this is for Spearman so almost there will be a small difference between the, these methods the hierarchical cluster you can see as a dendrogram format We are going to talk about principal component analysis. Principal component analysis can provide insights into the importance of variables in explaining the variations found within a data set. A principal component is a numeric linear combination of the values of other variables in the data set that captures maximal variations in the data. Two approaches to deriving principal components are supported here. One is SVD and second one is Aiken. SVD is a singular value decomposition where it shows centered and possibly scaled data matrix which is preferred for numerical accuracy. Whereas Aiken will show an covariance matrix to determine the Aiken values in a covariance matrix. So once if I click SVD and executed you can see that the value the principal component analysis has been generated and if you see your R you can see that a visualization plot also generated and if you click Aiken and execute just watch some changes here okay so if I click execute you can see an another plot is also generated according to the Adam Egan matrix and this is the Egan matrix exactly how the principal component analysis is done using Egan value method you can just compare it so this is the component 1 component 2 component 3 component 4 component 5 and component 6 so accordingly it has generated the value let's try the interactive data exploration so ggraptr is an interactive data exploration once if you click execute 
it will redirect you to an external site here you can see the various options to plot interactively so if you see here this is the data set which we are trying to use it and uh, this is a scatter plot it is automatically generated and if you want to change it to some other plot you can also change it here it will be changed accordingly so it is scatter plot with density 2d and if you want to change it to scatter plot density 2d and bin 2d then it will also be changed and if you want to delete something you can just select and delete it then you can see the changes as well so in x axis you can change and then y axis you can change your required variable and based on the date if you want to fill it so this is like interactive interactive plot it is generating so if it is not generating so it might be based on the data which is not supported so it is showing that based on the location so camera and what is the maximum temperature what is the pressure and number of bins it is showing okay you have various options you can just change this option and see and you can change the theme as well the title the color and everything and aggregation method so the data set if you want to manually aggregate you can aggregate it or else if you want to aggregate according to the given data set you can also aggregate that so whenever you are changing any value it will take some time to generate the interactive file interactive visualization because it has to apply the changes accordingly so it will take some time and if you want to download it you can just click download so these are the various op options you have like uh, you can just see the table and it has various entries here okay and if you want to see the code you can also see the code how it is exactly generating is it's generating a ggplot it's a log okay and uh, various options which you can also change it here okay so this is how the interactive plot will be generated so if you see ggobi so this is a package which is there in r now it is not available in r we have to install from some other uh, um, some other website and feed it here ggr aptr is available now so this interactive plot will always updated and changed based on the version so ggr aptr you can try it out